Hey guys, Cardmaster Phoenix here. Going to go over my new, fully revised, um, personal Heroes Legend deck file for Kagero Clan. Um, all of the card choices and reasons I played certain cards, that is within the first video I made for this. Um, it's still up. You can go check that out uh, if you want to know why I play certain cards or why I uh, use certain cards. Except for the new changes, I'll point them out. I only have about three changes, um, and I'll point those out. Um, the starter is still the same. Um, same, same uh, triggers line up to all flame dragons. Um, helps. Conroe, um, this card is a new change. He was at three, but if one's your eye target, run is a ends up as damage uh, zone. Uh, that only leaves like one to call, and uh, for a rear guard attacker, and it leaves legitimately one, two, maximum three for his skill. And I just can't. Uh, I, I just don't like taking that chance. So um, four of him. Same, uh, bar is the only new change in the main deck. Cut him back down to one, simply because, um, we already, uh, it's not that we have enough, uh, a lot of cards at Soul Blast, but, uh, with, uh, the perfect Guard Sentinel, whatever you want to call it that we use, that's continuous Soul Blast to use, and I kind of like, um, I still like using the skill, and... We don't usually end up with too much soul in case we don't use Overlord or anything. Um, soul isn't really a problem. I just like to manage it to my best uh, ability. So he's down to one. Um, plus, we pretty much cover all the bases and everything we need. Um, the same, 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 same. Um, anyway, um, Vortex Desire is new. Um, he was at two for some reason. I cut him back down to one. Because between him and Mustafa, uh, Mustafa, how you want to say it, I personally prefer calling Mustafa. Um, those, it's no doubt that one of these two should be your first, uh, slash, well, no, just your first stride. Um, the reason I have both of them in is Mustafa, if you can hit, is pretty much free. Retire. Um, kind of blast one and flip up a card. Um, and then that card is um, usually you're pretty much always flipping up Titan um, with either skill. It just depends whether you want to go for a potentially free retire plus a flip up or a still flip up. It's just um, it just is a retire on hit, and Mustafa is uh, a free skill on hit. So. Um, pretty much it's there for options, whichever one you rather go into first. Um, I just usually tend to go towards Desire more, simply because he, um, is a grade 4, of course, Flame Dragon, triggering Berserk skill, and most of it isn't, so that would be one thing I miss out on. Um, I cut down this card a huge amount to half the amount I was running him at. Uh, I... I was running him at four simply because he's amazing in the main, the main stride kind of that you want to go into. Um, before this, but anyway, um, I just found that the plays were a little, um, not too incredibly blank. They just were semi dull, and I prefer power on my cards, which is why that uh, I had to bar, but now I have a zero of him because I. Just, I want to focus completely 100% on aggression here. Um, so, he's the main ride that you want to do if you're not going, if you're not using the legend play and you're not going into like Titan, this is the card you want to go into because he is Overlord, he's G4, he's Flame Dragon, he's he matches up all, with all your requirements. Um, plus, he's pretty much free if you have Conroe. And then. Here's an incredibly new, uh, here's the 
super duper hefty change for Titan. Um, the reason I added in four of this card, and I was thinking about adding in only three, but uh, and if I still do end up saying that I only want, um, if I still do only want three copies, I'll cut one of him out and add in an extra ace, but this card's just in because not only does he go critical when you have the blazing st state, which is at least all the time, if not more than all the time, um, because I, I could be wrong on this, I believe that you can technically go on blazing state on your opponent's turn, because there are certain skills that would trigger that would require it to be blazing during your opponent's turn. So, it's potentially possible. Um, well, it, depend it varies by card. Um, it doesn't look like it is in this particular case, because it's... Uh, no. Okay, I don't... Mm, I don't know, but... Anyway. Um, moving on. Um, this card is just huge. The one flip... Uh, you get a flea... Uh, you're definitely flipping a copy of this card with Mr. Flash slash Vortex. You get another flip via his own skill, um, and then maybe, uh, which, well, depending on whether you went in the Mustafa or Vortex, um, you might be able to get lucky enough to go into the other one and, uh, unflip the third copy, and then by that time you're tiling, tiring one per copy of it that's face up in the G-Zone, which is the equivalent of legitimately a column and a half, which is huge. It's more efficient than Root Flare and Irresist Dragon. You know, it's just always better to me than those two cards. Um, plus, it does go crit, which makes him much better. And for a cost of only one. Um, this is the same. I cut him out just because, uh, again, we already have plans for Soul Blasting. He wasn't cutting it. Um... I did not actually, I just told you guys my Guardian setup, but I did not actually have the, them in. Um, I really want to, I really personally feel like going three defeat player to one. Uh, I really feel like the great lineup for me is 3-1, but I'm keeping it at 2-2 two, two, just to be fair, because um, I see what, uh, I see what I was thinking compared to what I think now. And you might not always get that half or half field retire, um, but I'll start off with just two of the feet flare and two of the other one because it's amazing uh, to me that you retire half the field. And I don't get the reason people play denial because you can only get uh, the use out of slash only use him when you're guarding with Griffin during an opponent's rear guard attack. Well, A, most of that pressure will be gone anyway, because that magic number will be gone when you're using uh, Defeat Flare. Plus, I just don't think it's uh, really an okay thing to G-guard during your rear guard's attack uh, for an opponent's turn. Oh. So, for that reason, I just prefer uh, to go 2-2, two to two, just to be fair. Um... You think I'm exaggerating, but there's such a huge difference between a 10k shield and a 15k shield. A 15k shield, 20 shield. Uh, so, this is just much uh, better um, to me than the 20k shield because even though you potentially lose a bit of shield, it's worth the effect. Um, so, yeah. Um, again, it also means it's okay to use grade threes as stride father. If I don't want them in hand, uh, and I find that they're useless, I can just drop them, and I get the effect by putting them back in the deck, reshuffling, and that's more legend plays uh, that I can use. It's uh, to counter blast, soul blast, and search off. Um, and then pretty much uh, you can even use it as uh, I can use them as drop targets for a sentinel even if. Uh, I want to, 
And they just recycle and deck for more stride options, and it's just great. Finally, we have uh, two copies of Metal Element Screw You. Um, I just find this card much better than the 20k shield because, as previously stated, it legit w wins games. As long as you've gone into a stride at least once for a single discard, which, again, uh, will always have cards in hand. Will practice. I don't think there's a single time that you're out of cards in hand. Um, and if you do, you're playing the deck wrong. Anyway, um, just it's a nice 25k shield, and any and it's from any cards in clan. Uh, it's from all nations and clans, so technically this is also considered a Kagero clan unit. Um, so I just find it amazing, and it fits in the, with the deck perfectly. Uh, so anyway, yeah, those are the changes I've made. I hope you guys uh, will. Um, I hope you guys will agree with my deck. Um, anyway, I just wanted to make this quick video um, showing all the cards and everything. I changed not many changes um I don't believe it will change again because I feel this setup I have is pretty much perfect um for the uh for the pure aggressive build I'm going for if I do take out any more cards in the main deck it'll be for pretty much blade master that way I can get the extra um use out of lava flow the dual use for lava flow between using my stride fodder and searching them out. Anyway, guys, um, that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, don't forget to like, favorite, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for allowing me to perform in front of you. You are all by far the best audience on YouTube. Anyways, this has been Cardmaster Phoenix signing out. Have a good day. Thank you for being the best audience on all of YouTube ever.